Okay, we have an alien isotope. The half-life is given as 238 years. How much of an 8 kilogram sample remains after 100 years? Uh, as in the first, for part A, we got to use the same formula for, to calculate our, our K value, negative ln2 over half-life. So we're going to do negative natural log of 2 over, uh, it gives us 238 years. Okay, so we have to make sure you use the right time that's in there. You don't want this one. You want the one where uh, actually it says half-life because that's what the formula says. Uh, and as before, I mentioned that uh, you can round this to four places. So negative ln2 over 238, you should get negative 0 0.0029. That'll be rounded to uh, four decimal places. We have to come up with the decay function for this. So we're going to do a of t is going to equal the a of o, the initial amount, which is 8. Then we have e to the kt is, is how the formula works. So I'm going to plug in the k value I just found, and then I have my time. So this would be your decay function. We now want to find out how much is left after 100 years. Okay, so we're going to put 100 in for the time. And this is going to give us 8e to negative 0 0.0029 times 100. We're going to do the exponent part first when we do that. So we're going to get 8e to the negative. This is going to move the decimal place over two places. So negative 0.29 is what you're going to have left. And we're going to put this uh, into a calculator. And you get about 6. If you round it to two decimal places, it's going to be 5.98. Nearest whole number would be 6. Uh, and this would be in terms of uh, kilograms. So that's how much after 100 years uh, it's, it'll be down to f about 6 kilograms.